Okay, so let's take a look at some more math questions that show up on the Regents exams. In question six here, you're asked to compare the number of carbon atoms in a 0.3 centimeter cube, that's volume, for graphite, and the same volume, 0.3 centimeters cubed, for diamond. Well, the number of carbon atoms is going to vary based then if the volume is the same, right, on the densities. So, the Regents likes to sneak in the density equation, D is equal to M over V. It is on the reference table, if you need it. I also want to point out to you on reference table as there are densities for elements. So, being that we have the same volume, different densities, the diamond is more dense, which means, of course, it's going to have more carbon atoms in the same amount of volume. So there's your answer. The number of carbon atoms for its diamond are going to be, is going to be greater than the number of carbon atoms for graphite. All right, let's check out number seven. So a student calculated the density of the sample of graphite to be 2.3 grams per centimeter cube. Show a numerical setup for calculating percent error. So this, of course, is the student value here. The true value or known value is on the table. Now, the percent error formula is on the reference table. I would suggest writing it down and plugging in, especially, of course, you're going to times by 100 because it's percent and they want the numerical setup anyway. When they say numerical setup, they're looking for the numbers. Don't worry about the units. So what do we have? Percent error. Right? I'm going to follow exactly what it says. Measure value, so MV minus AV divided by AV times 100. Okay, so let's plug it into the equation. The student's value, which is the measured value, is 2.3. Accepted value, 2.2 from the table, divided by 2.2 times 100. Don't forget about that. That's why it's so important to write the equation down. There's your numerical setup. You're done. Move on. Okay, question 12. Student measures mass and volume of a sample of copper at room temp and 101.3 uh, kilopascal. Mass is 78.9 grams, volume 5 cubic centimeters. Student calculates the density. What is the percent error of this student's calculated density? Okay, so again, percent error. We have the equation already written here. Let me go ahead and erase these values. So I can calculate the density that the student got. Density is mass over volume. So we got the 48.9 grams over the 5 cubic centimeters. So the answer, of course, is 9.78. But this is the student value. I obviously have to compare that to the accepted value but it's not given in the problem. Well, that's where reference table S comes in. So I already circled it for copper. There's a lot of information, remember, on reference table S for the elements, besides the symbol and the name, so there's no excuses. Not knowing the right spelling of a, of a element name or the symbol. So 8.96 is the accepted value. So it's now this equation so it's uh, 9.78 minus, of course I already forgot, 8.96, 8.96, and divided by 8.96 times 100. So let's see, we've got to put that into the calculator. So the answer is 9.2% of question 3. Check out some more questions here that have to do with the math on the Chemistry Regents exam. Also, subscribe to the channel, like the videos. If you like the videos, I'll do more. Also, check out, of course, other resources on nychemcoach.com.